If you're looking for a cheaper alternative laser kit setup for your Graco, then you need to watch this video. Today, we're striping with Bill, and he's going to tell us about a budget laser setup that he got for his Graco. That's a fraction of the price that you could pay for some other laser products that are out there. But before that, if you're interested in striping or getting started and want a good side hustle to start this summer, or even build a business to quit your job and never return, consider checking out the How to Stripe course, where we have an eight-hour training that will help you get started. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description. All right, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Today you're striping with Bill. Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of a trick to save you a bunch of money on your Graco machine or Titan or whatever it is you're using for striping. Anybody that's uh, doing in the striping business, you got a Graco machine, you know that their lasers are pretty high dollar, especially for a single dot laser. You know, you'll pay a few hundred dollars. If you want a dual setup, that's gonna be $500. If you want the long laser, you're looking at over 1,000. I mean, it's, it's pretty insane on pricing. Today, I'm showing you a much cheaper alternative. You can get it on Amazon and save a ton of money and it works phenomenal. This thing is excellent for helping me get lined up much quicker. Saves me a lot of time on my stripes. Um, before I was using it without the laser, it would take me a little bit to make sure I was getting lined up straight. And the other part where it's extremely useful is if you got to lay part of a line because you got obstacles in the way and then you got to come back from the other direction and hit it, it's extremely hard to get lined up perfect. This laser takes a lot of that error out of the equation. So where did I get it? I got it on Amazon, of course. This is just a, I, I don't know the brand of it, but this is literally just a cheap rifle dot laser. I paid 25 bucks for it. That's it. $25, it takes the CR123A batteries. You can get those at Sam's Club. You can get the bulk pack for about 35 bucks. <laughs> the clamp is a Ulanzi uh, dual clamp. This is actually designed for action cameras, but I, as you can see, I've got it set up to hold my laser. Uh, you can swivel it up and down so I can center it to my, my uh, paint gun. You can move it left and right. How I have it set up right now is where that dot's at. That's where my paint, the bottom left corner of my paint hits. So when I'm striping a line, that's right on the left side of the line. Um, this thing is phenomenal. You want, the, if you get a laser, you always want to go with green dot because in the day, if you try to use a red dot laser, you're going to have a really hard time seeing it. The green dot is a little bit more visible. It's still a little bit harder to see during the day, uh, but it's, it's much better than if you go with a red dot. This is an extremely cheap alternative. You can move it wherever. You can set it up wherever you want on your machine for the most part. Nice thing is, if you want to go with a dual dot, a triple dot, you can do all that. You can put another mount here, have your laser on this side, boom, you got your right side of the line. Now you know exactly where it's at. You can have a third one for your on centers. If you're one of those people that lay out and you stripe on center, you can have a third one and you got all three points of, of uh, re you know, for reference. It's, it's an extremely useful tool and much cheaper than the Graco alternative. Now, whenever I go to use this before each job, because uh, even with the Graco laser, sometimes they'll get a little bit out of alignment and you gotta readjust it. So before every job, I always use tar paper. Tar paper is gonna be your best friend. You can go on Facebook Marketplace, you can find rolls of tar paper all day long for 10 to $15, sometimes a little bit more, but you'll get it way cheaper than in the store. So what I do is I lay down a strip of tar paper, I turn my laser on, I run my line. Once I run the line, I double check, make sure that, it, that the laser is lined up on the outside edge of my line. Once I see that it's, it's where it's spraying at and how I want it, boom, I get right to work. This thing is awesome. So I'll give you a little bit of a demo here on, on you know, setting it up on a line. We're gonna use this crack right here in the concrete for reference. So for those of you who don't have a laser, Obviously, you'd be kind of looking at it, trying to figure out, you know, judge, judge your, your distance on your tip or, you know, whatever your reference point is, trying to make sure you're right on it. That laser, you can literally put it on there, watch it. I'm already lined up. That's, that's how quick it is. I, I already got lined up on that crack. It follows it perfect. And I know that's exactly where my paint's going to be. Okay, so one other thing too is some of you might be wondering, can you use this on the line box, the shadow box that Graco has where you, you, know, you put the box at the end of the line and it's got that vertical line? No, this is just a dot laser. Those, those boxes that they use, they're using a long laser that shoots that long line and it goes all the way to that shadow box. This does not do that. This is just a dot, only a reference point, but still extremely, extremely useful. 
And this can be an excellent tool for somebody whose business is growing rapidly and they need to get guys trained up and trained up fast. This will definitely help the new guys with getting lined up and keep them from getting those lines all over the place. Amazing tool. Speaking of training, I had a guy today that never stride before, never laid a line before in his life and he was able to do a pretty dang good job using that laser uh, you know obviously when when everybody start, starting out they have to get get the hang of the machine as far as the momentum but getting lined up that thing helped tremendously the guy did a really great job laid some beautiful lines and it's this is an invaluable tool for anybody in the striping business uh, it's i think it's not a must have, but it's definitely a, a, a highly, highly recommended tool. You may be wondering about calibration, having to readjust it to make sure it stays on point. Uh, honestly, even in my trailer, because trailers are bouncy, we know there's a lot of vibration. Unless you're physically hitting this thing with like paint buckets or you're bumping into it, the laser itself, I rarely ever have to uh, recalibrate it and adjust it back to where my line's at. As long as you got these, these twist knobs turned nice and tight, because uh, there's rubber grips inside of the clamps, and those rubber grips stay pretty dang tight. But as long as you get these clamps nice and tight, all right here, these three knobs, I very rarely ever have to adjust that thing. Uh, and the beautiful thing about these lasers too, you can use them on any machine. You can throw them on a Titan 850, you can put them on a Graco 5900, a Titan 3500, Graco 3400. Uh, heck, you could probably even mount it on one of those Rust-Oleum push, push uh, stripers, even though you probably wouldn't even use it for that. But that's just extremely how universal this setup is. You can mount it almost anywhere for the most part, and uh, it's just, it, it works great. All right, so that's basically it, man. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope it helps a lot of you people out. Stripe those lines.